Hi everyone, it's Mirika Vandens, um, fresh out of the shower and we're going into what I ate a year ago. I do these daily and also later like I'm going to go into screenshots that I took one year ago in Quasar Recovery where I was still um, you know doing recovery according to the eating disorders rules and you will see like how, how you will see this in the screenshots that I took I got into the medical medium kind of craze and hype and also we're going to go in uh, into much more it's just gonna be packed again with recovery help for you guys I make these videos with exactly the content that I would have needed when I was at the place where I was one year ago exactly in quasi recovery I would have needed this to really go into real recovery um, which got me where I am now so you see this kind of pseudo quasi um, granola bar here again I do repeat saying this because I want you to see this is not what I was mentally craving at all it it's something that I it is a bar a snack something unhealthy I thought which I don't think anymore but I, I try to make a healthy version of something that I actually craved that is not recovery guys if you are finding yourself um, yeah finding yourself trying to make a healthy version of something it's not bad per se but it is bad for you and unhealthy actually for you in recovery so you see screenshots here from one year ago I got into the Epstein bar virus into the whole medical medium thing because of my hands like because when you saw the last video and several of them I got the chill blains the first they are really um, almost not there anymore also I don't feel it anymore I can I can just do normal fists which I couldn't do back then um, my circulation has improved so much and you know then I got into everything that he wrote like Anthony Williams I think he's called about high fat diets I was like well this might be exactly what humans should be doing but then only later I found out what it actually means if someone claims that they are a medium you know medical medium I wasn't aware what medium actually means and it's actually kind of something spiritual in my humble opinion kind of demonic kind of a thing which I don't believe in personally um, so I got into his kind of recipe cinnamon raisin bread um, you know basically what I was doing there already but he kind of got rid of all of types all types of gluten fats of course well he does have flax seeds here so you also see a contradiction um, he in some posts he seems to be totally against fats and I get it it's because of you know liver rescue and stuff and I got all, into all of his kind of information also about caffeine he was so much against caffeine um, he also has a podcast about it and then I kind of screenshotted these questions from followers of him asking about decaf and uh, it's just like his approach is so black and white it was it was really harmful and damaging for me even drinking decaf might seem subtle but still damaging glad to be free of coffee five years and chocolate three years and I, it resonated with me so much guys because the eating disorder made me so 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 afraid of caffeine and chocolate and cacao because I was actually reacting to them why was I reacting to them knowing now I know it's because my metalli metabolism and my whole physical state was crap it's not because of foods per se you can very easily tolerate this in small amounts you don't have to see things black and white it's just something that was so so toxic really I have to say for my mental health getting into this black and white thinking again like yes maybe it is that bad for me that even the smallest amount will actually make me uh, or give me disease or something and it's just I just want 
you to be aware of that 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 can also happen to you maybe you already are aware of that that it happens to you you are researching you are googling for what can i do to make things better for my symptoms and stuff and digestive symptoms and i was there so much guys and i tried to kind of um heal my hands um, which i know basically also fundamentally that i'm not the one to heal myself i believe that i'm just a human i have a god who in the end heals me but i can do things uh, you know that are good for me physically and mentally and so here i was very much in that mindset of okay i'm gonna have to take my health into my own hands because something is going off here and i was very much in this kind of control mindset i just have to make sure that i am healing i kind of try to be my own healer and of course we are very powerful with what we can what we do and don't do in our lifestyle but if anything i could have done for myself was going into real recovery getting rid of the restriction what i did here being afraid of what happened to my hands not knowing what it was now i know it was the under eating you know the actually restrictive eating disorder i i just panicked and i took that as a reason to restrict again i did not know that back then that that was per se by definition by design restriction but it is and um, you might not want to hear this today but please take a moment and ask yourself are you restricting somewhere because you're afraid of some symptoms like i get it if you have problems with your digestion or anything it always seems so justified that you are just afraid of everything but i just want to encourage you um take a month and do the opposite of your eating disorder and then you can see you know just just be radical about it and see if really all of those fears are actually true after that um that's something i did and then i actually realized well all of these fears are not actually happening and I am much better than before and also my symptoms um, even with the digestive symptoms it was also i got into like grains and acidity acidosis like veganism not not enough what you saw here in the screenshot before the ph value of you know not that just being plant-based is not enough and just so much crap for my personal health at that time and i just want to warn you about going down that rabbit hole um it's very very yeah i mean yeah very toxic um i also think that someone like um anthony williams medical medium they can be so convincing and the fact that they are um, claiming that they are some kind of spiritual authority and you know it's the spirit that downloaded them all of the information is like you for people who are lost and desperate they will tend to just hang on their lips and like whatever you say I'm gonna do it what you also saw in the screenshot some comments were like I don't like I don't know and don't really feel like this is right but I'm going to do it whatever you say I'm going to do it and it's like wow <laughs> please be please be wary of that um yeah I'm very skeptical about that now but that was a phase that I got into and um, if someone of you is in that phase right now please be careful okay that's all I'm going to say um you see you know the usual dinner also the usual banana ice cream before that i had on that day um it's a medical medium is also someone who highly highly emphasizes fruits and vegetables i mean that's great and stuff i mean i love these foods generally that was just not the things that were helping me to get to my actual health mentally and physically I had to do the complete opposite in order to become physically and mentally well and in order to actually find the real balance that has nothing to do or it has nothing to say against 
against these foods per se. I love them uh, now that I have my real kind of balance, but you cannot produce this balance. You have to go through the extreme phase. In my humble opinion, I had to at least. And so, um, you see here a screenshot of like vegan cafes and restaurants in Marburg. I was actually, um, you know, that's a town nearby and I was uh, preparing for a meetup with my parents. I actually wanted to tell them about, no, that was not the, it was not the one yet. Um, yeah. That just shows I had to prepare and find out in advance where I could go, what would be clean enough. Vegan was not enough. Also, I chose this kind of thing because it was probably the, uh, the one with the least processed and least fat and oil and stuff. And that's disordered. I just want to say I did not want to believe that at that time, but that's disordered. Um, I do not do this anymore when I meet up with someone. I just, I'm fine with anything. Um, and that's freedom. This is actually, guys, this is actually our, yeah, one puppy of Teddy that she got. And you know, if you haven't seen the video, Teddy Teddy died a few days ago. It's so, so sad. But this is one in the Philippines that we have. I think it's Molly. You know, they they have not gotten to know me. They're, they're um, you know, they're, their owners are the caretakers. Well, officially they are us, but they take care of them. Anyways, isn't it cute? So nice. And I can't wait to see them. You see here Durian from a friend of ours, posted from a friend of ours. I am so looking forward to just having Durian again um, when we are back in the Philippines next year, hopefully. And um, yeah, thought I'd just talk about it a bit because some people asked about the Philippines, what's going on there. I might do a separate video on what we're doing in the Philippines. Um, so uh, here's a post, you are in eating disorder recovery. So just say yes. This was super powerful for me to do um, because the eating disorder basically says no to most of the things that other people do. And it's very powerful to just reverse this and say yes to everything that you usually said no to. In eating disorder recovery, the whole gen general idea, just to give you the heads up, is to eat as much as you can and break all the restrictive eating habits you have so that you can rewire the heck or the feck <laughs> out of them and get your brain completely free of disorder restrictive thoughts, fears and habits. You can't eat too much in recovery. This was basically what I was holding on to when I started real recovery. I said yes to everything. There was no rule at all anymore. And you don't compensate um, because it doesn't matter if you have just eaten or if you have plans to eat something else huge in an hour, you are in recovery and you can eat all the food wherever, whatever. And the more you do, the more recovered you get. 100% that is what happens with me. Um, and the more recovered you get, the more life you get back. Yes, so, so much, 100%. I hope this helps you. Um, this is uh, something that I ate a week ago. It is completely opposite. It's also with milk and black like, plant milk. Um, but I would also uh, take whole milk. I used whole milk, like dairy, for the whole recovery. Um, and there's also sugar in there. I have um, nacho cheese. I love these kinds of things. I had them just as many as I wanted. And I have these daily, like on a regular basis when I feel like it, I just have that. It's n There's no difference in my brain about having something whole food or having this one. For most of the part, I, you know, these are just things that I still have that are non-vegan, um, that I will still use up basically. I do not have the craving to buy tons of non-vegan foods now, but I have still tons of non-vegan foods here that I bought in recovery. And, you know, it's just something that, just the fact that the craving for it, that it did not, it just seemed to have all of the power over me 
that it went away is just gold. Gold. See you next video. Bye.